not a great end to the 2015 campaign for the Sydney Swans. Ousted from the finals in straight sets. Dan Hanabry hopes for a happier ending in 2016, I'm sure. Dan, that wasn't particularly good viewing, but at least there is some good news, and that is that you get to play in front of the SCG faithful for every home and away game this season. Well, not the away ones. Yeah, it wasn't great, great viewing, but and it is exciting we're playing all our home games at the SCG this year. Um, I think it's great for our fans, and the players are comfortable playing at the SCG and enjoy playing playing there. However, not to say we, we didn't enjoy playing at ANZ. We had a great record there, I think a great finals record. So it is disappointing to leave, but we are excited by the fact we're playing at the SCG this year. Hannes, come on, this is like a break-up. You know, when you break up with your ex, you can then spill the beans about why you really didn't like her at all. What didn't you like about ANZ? Why you, the players clearly didn't enjoy playing there compared to the SCG. Well, to be honest, I was, I was saying to one of the producers backstage that I actually did enjoy, uh, to enjoy playing there. I think because we've had a good record there in recent times. Um, take away the Collingwood, the Collingwood of the world. We've actually played pretty well there and, and had good success in the finals. I think one of the great memories was that prelim final against Collingwood. And I think there is, a, is some fond memories there and we have enjoyed playing there, I think, at times. But certainly, um, you know, we, we, we do play favourites for the SCG, being our home ground. We do spend a lot of time there. Uh, hence why the players are comfortable and enjoy playing there. But, um, yeah, it's not to say we haven't, haven't loved playing at ANZ. This is the early part of the breakup. Where still they still being civil? Hate, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, still being civil because yeah. one, of the, one of the partners hasn't gone out clubbing yet and posted <laughs> pictures on Insta. Like once they do that... I feel like this is close to home. It'll get ugly, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. Um, anyway. <laughs> Let's get back on track. OK. Uh, what's driving you? Is it how, how you went out last off-season? Yeah, oh, certainly. I think the, the, uh, the straight sets... Um, um, so defeats in the, in the finals is disappointing. Um, we, uh, we thought we were a really good chance over in Freer to beat them. We thought we were going to um, potentially get a home prelim. We weren't, 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 wasn't to be. And, and then um, you know, got bond, bundled out by you know, a better side on the night um, against North. So certainly that drove the boys in the off-season to come back in, in good condition, which I think they have. Um, and so far we've had a strong pre-season. Um, but you never know quite until you get there in round one. And um, So far we think we're pretty well prepared. Obviously, Lance Franklin, we couldn't have an interview without asking you about Lance Franklin. He wasn't involved in either of those fixtures. All the reports are that he's flying, which seems to be a word that's thrown around a lot with AFL <laughs> pre-season. In terms of the, the efforts you've seen him do in pre-seasons, is this the fittest you've seen him? Yeah, I mean, every, every player's the fittest they've ever been and the strongest they've <laughs> ever been and, and whatnot from every club. But certainly with Buddy, uh, he's missed training in the past for injury and, and whatnot, but he's done every session. He's probably the fittest he's been at the Swans and, um, and he's done the most ball work. So... Um, we're looking forward to seeing what he can do this year and, and, and uh, yeah, he definitely is in, in, the, in the best headspace, um, so he said, in recent times, which is great to hear and great to see. You've lost a mountain of experience, but that brings with it a few positives, including some people who otherwise hadn't had the chance being elevated to the leadership group, including yourself. So tell us exactly how you've taken upon the role and are you enjoying it? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's obviously early days. and. Um, Something a few of the guys um, had identified um, we, can, we can improve on. A few of the guys, uh, Heath Grundy, Dane Rampy, and myself. And um, I think through the pre-season, it's just about um, you know, trying to help other younger players um, whilst also keeping a consistent level of, of performance um, and just expressing your views, I suppose, at, a, uh, at the betterment of the whole group. So it's a work in progress and something I'm looking forward to um, taking on this year. That's a cool visor we just saw there, mate. <laughs> Very good. Uh, now, I understand you, you may have taken it to the next level in terms of your leadership because I was out for a lunch with one of your teammates and you said they're sending text messages on a Sunday detailing a new training program. So it's not just the younger ones you're taking under your wing, you're really trying to take control of this whole thing, aren't you? No, no, not really. I was about <laughs> just trying to do his fit some extra recovery uh, that afternoon, mate, trying to get a massage and, <laughs> and go to the beach. That's about as extensive as the, the program was on a Sunday, mate, so just trying to do those extras and, and do the right thing um, you know, by the body. I think like it's it. impressive to see that he's taking Same. ownership. Yeah, yeah, really going to go next level and maybe <laughs> next year co-captaincy, who knows. Callum Mills has been a fantastic pick-up for the Swans. He looked really impressive in that NAB Challenge clash with Port Adelaide. How impressed have you been with him considering he's a first-year player? Yeah, Mills has been uh, very impressive across uh, half-back for us throughout the pre-season and the pre-season games. Uh, for a young player to come in and, and fill that void we had losing Malczewski, being able to use his ball ball use through, through that half-back line and um, he's very composed. I think it's going to be get a bit, it will get harder for him when the pressure comes round one and they will come for him but I think to try and unsettle him but he's got a, he's got a really balanced, um, balanced head and I think uh, he'll, he'll be good for us across there and hopefully he can, he can use his ball use for us throughout the year. 
Beautiful. Well, we're looking forward to speaking to you throughout the year. I know you're doing a little bit with AFL tonight as well, one of our marquee shows that launched last night. I don't know whether you happen to catch it, but it's going to be great to get players' insight throughout the year. Good to have you in. Thanks, See guys. you again soon. Cheers.